Hey, morning. So in, um, in some previous videos, I talked about how to tie a square knot, how to tie a bowlin, and how to tie a clove hitch. And a clove hitch, I said in that video, was the start of a lot of lashings. And so what we'll do now is a tripod lashing, which I think is, is probably one of the easier lashings. Um, and it's also probably the first lash, lashing that everyone should, should know, I think. It's how to make a tripod, so you, you know, something that can, you can put over your fire. Um, make a shelter from it, all kinds of reasons for a tripod lashing, make a flagpole, I mean, it just goes, the list goes on and on. Uh, make a tower, all kinds of stuff. Tripods are just so important um, and so useful uh, when you're out of doors. So we'll do that and uh, let's get started. Okay, so I've got three sticks lined up here. They don't have to be the same length, but it helps. Uh, so I've got three sticks, these are all about the same length. Uh, not exactly, they're, they're a little bit different. So. This will be my top right here. That'll be the top of my tripod. That's where I'm going to tie my lashing. And those are going to be the bottoms down there. So first thing I want is to actually line up the bottoms. Make the bottom all pretty even. Okay, then we'll come up here to the top and then we'll tie the lashing somewhere about right here. You don't put it right, to the, right at the end. You want to give yourself a little bit of space. Somewhere right around there. Okay, so here are three logs. Uh, or three sticks, sticks rather. I got my, I've got my rope. Now there's a there's a trick with a tripod lashing. These are resting right on the ground right now. I'm actually gonna get another stick to go underneath them to raise these up a little bit. I'll show you why that's that's really helpful in a second. Okay, so I've got this I've got this log here. I'm just going to um, lift these three up. Slide log underneath and that raises up my sticks. So that gives me some space to work underneath. That's, that's gonna be just a lot easier for me. Okay. So. Just untangle tangle my rope here for a second. The way to start this is with a clove hitch. You start with a clove hitch on one of the logs, one of the sticks on the side. I'm just gonna do that cross it over, make my X, make my H, all nice and tight, clove hitch, really easy. Okay, so to make a tripod lashing, the magic number in lashings is three, because three is the number that's the strongest. Uh, if you do less than three, it's weaker. Uh, but if you do more than three, it's gonna be a little bit stronger, but you're not gonna gain a whole lot of strength uh, in proportion to the amount of rope that you're going to use. So the magic number is three. So I'm going to do three what are called wrappings. So I'm just going to loop the rope three times around all the sticks together. Okay, so that's one, two, three. Okay, three wrappings gonna hold the sticks together. Now, I'm gonna do frappings. Now frappings are, you'll see what they are in a second, it's easier to show than, than explain. You're kind of looping between the sticks. And the frappings is what give, that what makes the, um, the lashing tight, and it's what gives it its strength. So this is, this, is, this is a really important part of the lashing. So what I need to do is work my rope in between first two sticks just like that okay so you can see how it's going in between in between the sticks okay I'm gonna do that so that's one I'm gonna do it two more times Two. See two loops there. You want to keep these nice and neat. You don't want the um, your wrappings, that's this bit, and your frappings, that's this bit, to um, cross over each other. It's better if they just lie next to one another. 
keep it nice and neat. Okay, and remember, this is the bit that makes the uh, the lashing tight. So I'm pulling on that really hard, as hard as I can. So I've done my three wrappings. I've done three wrappings between these two logs. Now I need to do three wrappings between these two. Now, good. This is this is a great example. These two logs are really straight and they're really really close together. There was a just because of the way the knots work with these two logs, there's a little bit of space and I could I could um, tease the rope through them. Uh, but with these two, they're really, really close. And so what I'll sometimes do with the tripod lashing is I'll turn the tripod on its side a bit and, and actually open it up just ever so slightly. So I'll just I'll back up and so you can see what that looks like. Okay, so I've, just, I've put it on its side and I've, see how the, uh, the logs used to be right next to one another. Now they've opened up a little bit. And what that's going to do is it's going to make it a lot easier for me to work the rope in between here. Okay, so I'm just coming up from behind here. See, I've got all this space now that I can, I can very easily bring the rope in. You don't want to open up too much because that will, it could loosen your, your lashing. Just enough. Okay, so that's one frapping. That's two. And that's three. Okay, so I've done three wrappings. It's these ones right here. Three frappings there. Three wrappings, three frappings, three frappings. Started with a clove hitch on this log, so I'm going to finish with a clove hitch on this one. Okay, I'm actually tying the clove hitch just over here. my clove hitch. Okay, You want to, I've, I've left a little gap here, but what you really want to do is you want to make that clove hitch as close to that wrapping as you possibly can, because that's going to just make it a lot tighter. If you leave a gap and it slides up, then your, your lashing is going to be a little bit looser. So if I slide that up, actually I can't because it's so, so tight right there, that's going to be pretty good. Okay, so now I'll show you how you set this up. So I've got my clove hitch, or so my tripod lashing here. Started with a clove hitch, wrapped it, frapped it in two places, finished with a clove hitch. It's done. Now all I do is I spread out the legs. Start with two. Spread out the third. There's my tripod, tripod done. Okay. There's the lashing there. Now, as long as the sticks are strong enough, That'll support your own body weight and a whole lot more. It's absolutely solid.